So, you want to open up a rock and roll school, but you don't know how to play the guitar. Well, it's not going to work out. Hey guys, one by Tuts by Kai, I'm Kai. Today we're back once again because we need to learn how to play the guitar. Well, listen, we've done this in a previous video. We learned how to use an HDRI um, in the, the, the lava video which I'll link uh, on, on this video, the end of this video, if you want to take a look at it, I, which I recommend you take a look at because it looks very cool. We made this whole scene and it used HDRI lighting and it was very cool. One of my favorite things we've done, uh, like ever. But uh, but yeah, so for today, I want to make a special single dedicated video for the HDRI thing because I think it's a very, very cool thing to get material viewport shading lighting in rendered viewport. So let's go, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and go to the world tab here. Hit this little this little icon right here. You can see we can add the environment texture um, node, which is what we're gonna do. So hit that bad boy, and now we can go ahead and actually split my window into two, um, and then uh, go to the shader editor by clicking and dragging this little this little thing over until you know it gets there. Um, <laughs> splitting the window, go to shader edit, shader editor. Uh, get rid of that thing because we don't need it. Now we can go, instead of going to object, we go to world up at the top here. So go to world viewport shading. You can see that now we have the environment texture hooked up into the background, which is what we did by just adding it there. We could also hit shift A and search for environment. Oop, environment, same exact thing, but it's just uh, a nice way to do it over here as well. Just different ways, you know, I uh, gets the job done the same way. Now with this, I'm going to go ahead and hit, go ahead and hit open. It's going to go ahead and open up a, uh, a file dialog system opening thing like this, obviously. And you're going to look for the folder that says three inside of Blender, which is the version. Of course, you're going to go to data files and go to studio lights. Then you're going to go to world. And as you can see inside this folder, we have all of these things here. We're going to go ahead and open up which one we want. Uh, for this tutorial, I guess we'll go ahead and use uh, maybe interior.exr. Hit open image. And now you can see. We have this bad boy loaded up. Now, if we go to material viewport shading um, and hit this little drop down and it uh, da, 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 and changes to the <coughs> the interior. Excuse me, guys. If we go to and change to the interior viewport shading, you can see there. Um, and then hit uh, actually wait no yeah use scene world. There you go. You can see that we can use the scene world and now uh, it is using the lighting and you can see the lighting from this. Uh, hotel room i guess it is um and you can you can just uh take a look around there and you know see all the lighting which is it's giving you all the colors all of the lights from the scene it's emitting a light onto the object um so for instance if we go ahead and add in a ball let's go ahead and delete real quick add in a us uv sphere um just make it smooth real quick just really quickly so i can show you uh we go to new turn up the specular and down the roughness and then just make this like black uh smooth shading Ooh. You can see that it, it just reflects the room, which is very cool. So this is what an HDRI, HDRI basically is. It just reflects the room. It makes it so that you can uh, have a nice kind of way to shade and light your scenes um, so that it gives that nice vibe of whatever picture you use. So that's how you do that. Now, the way to do that in rendered is obviously the same exact thing. So if you go to rendered, you can see now rendered and uh, the regular material viewport shading look exactly the same, which is very very cool stuff the only difference is is that you can have bloom and stuff and rendered and and, and whatnot and screen face screen screen space reflections oh my gosh i'm making up my own language again guys um but yeah so that's cool so usually it would look like this in render viewport shading and then this would be material viewport this would be much material viewport shading as you can see so it looks really cool and now you can have um they can have the same thing so you can have uh hooked stuff now you can have this lighting in rendered viewport shading, which is very, very cool, very easy to do. So I hope you, ladies and gentlemen, enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.